Sound effects, it's very important, because sound evokes emotion more than video, and it increases the production value. In this video, I'm using these sounds from the Ultimate Sounds Effects Pack. You can check out this pack under the description link. Inside this pack, you'll get 1800 plus different types of sound effects. To download this pack, first open this link under the description, then click on Add to Cart, and type your email address here. Now you can pay with PayPal, or the debit and credit card. Also, you can check out my store, and here you'll get some free presets as well. Now let's see how to make the reverb echo effect. And here I'm using this rising sound effect. As you can see this sound ends here, but I want to end this sound smoothly, with a reverb echo effect. So first go to the window, and open the audio track mixer tab. And as you can see here, my sound in the audio track 1. So under the audio track mixer tab, I'm using the audio 1 level. First click on this right arrow key. Then choose the first slot, and click on this drop down icon. And here select the reverb, and studio reverb. Now double click on the studio reverb. It will open up a new window. And here increase the decay value, 10,000 ms. In the output level, increase the width value 80%. Then close this window. And let's see the preview. And that's all I want. This reverb effect is too long. But I want this effect 2 or 3 seconds. So the left side of this audio track, right click here, select customize. Then drag and drop the show keyframe icon here and click OK. Now click on this show keyframe icon, then track keyframes, and select volume. Now you can see the volume level to the full audio track. So hold on control key, then make a keyframe here, move 2 or 3 seconds, and make another keyframe here, then just drag this keyframe down. And let's see the preview. It's almost perfect. But if you want it more smooth, again click on this show keyframe icon, and select clip keyframes. Then apply the default fade out transition here. Make it small a little bit. And now it's perfect. And the second one is low path effect. And here I'm using this video and the background music. In my case, I'm going to animate the low pass effect with my video clip. So first move to the effects tab, and search for low pass. Then apply this effect to the audio layer. Now go to the effect controls tab. And find the frame, where you want to make this effect. Now under the low pass effect, make a keyframe on the cutoff. And set the cutoff value around 400. Again find the frame, where you want to release this effect. Then just maximize the cutoff value. So it will animate this effect, down to maximum. Then again find the frame where it's moving down. And make the cutoff value 400. As you can see the video is freezing for one second. So I'm going to make another keyframe here. And keep the same cutoff value. Then again find the frame, where it's moving up. And here increase the cutoff value. And that's all for this effect. Now let's see how to make the telephone voice effect. And this effect is very easy to do. 
Just move to the effects tab and search for the multiband compressor. Then apply this effect to the audio layer. Now move to the effect controls tab. Under the multiband compressor effect, click on edit. And here just select the toy preset. Then close this window. So that's all for the telephone voice effect. Hey, I'm sorry, I can't hear you very well. Could you speak up a little, please? Now let's see how to make the muffle audio effect. To make this muffle effect, again we are going to use the low pass effect. So move to the effects tab. And search for low pass. Then apply this effect to the audio layer. Now find the frame when she is going underwater. And move over to the effect controls tab. Then under the low pass effect, make a keyframe on the cutoff. And make the cutoff value maximum. Now find the frame, where she is completely underwater. And this time set the cutoff value 400. Then again do the same thing, find the frame when she goes up. And make a keyframe here to the cutoff. Now increase the cutoff value to maximum, when she completely goes up. And that's all for the audio muffle effect. And that's all for today guys, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on my Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.